All right, we're going to be doing some reviews today. Um, and these are, I think you call them pen, pen uh, multimeters. Um, I used to have one. I uh, forget who made mine. I uh, gave it away. I wasn't using it. Um, and uh, they probably have a certain use case. I don't find them entirely useful for the type of work I do on the bench, but I'm sure some people uh, do like them because they keep making them. So somebody must be buying them. So I want to do a review. Um, the reason that I like to do reviews is I like to show these products off. I'm not endorsing them in any way. I'm not being sponsored. People just send me things to have to have reviews done. And I think it's, it's good for my community to tell people uh, what I like about them, what I don't like about them. And then they can make up their own mind whether they can uh, want to purchase these things or not. But it's, it's, it's often nice to see somebody else um, to use one before you buy it. A lot of times you have to buy these things without knowing anything about them. And then, you know, you might have overlooked something. Oh, gee, that was important to me. I wish I would have known that. Anyway, so we're going to review these two today. Uh, this one's kind of an oddball. So we're going to, we're going to, uh, wait in the, wait for that one. Uh, this one is the model ST120. These were sent into the channel by Kai Wheats. Uh, we've seen them before. And, um, I think these are new for them. Let's see here. So uh, how do these things work? Well, there's a there's an on off button. Let's push that. There we go. There's like a little um, OLED display on them. I think that's an OLED. Might be a uh, TFT. It's color. Anyway, kind of looks like OLED, um, but I could be wrong. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice looking display. So the way that you use these things is like a regular uh, uh, voltmeter, but you're holding one. Okay, so you're holding this one and, and you're and you're measuring this one. So let's say we want to measure the voltage on this on this, uh, um, and it, it's saying minus nine point seven. Oh, I've got it wrong, right wrong way around. I don't want to blow up the thing I'm putting it into. It's like this must be the negative, and this must be the positive, um, and it's measuring uh, nine point six nine volts. So it, it puts the display right where you're making the measurement. Now, it's a little bit clumsy. So for the type of work that I do, I probably would be complaining about it. But um, having it all in one, one spot is nice. So uh, what does it do? Well, uh, it has an auto function where it tries to figure things out. Are you measuring a resistor? Are you measuring a voltage? What, you know, what is it that you're trying to do? Let's see if we can measure, if we can measure a resistor and see if it can figure that out. Uh, so I put it on, uh, I put on this resistor and immediately it says 99 ohms. So it immediately knew that I wanted to test, um, I wanted to test a, a resistor. And uh, let's see, this one should be 100K. I could contact it. And I'm not making good contact. That's one of the issues with these things is making, making contact while you're holding it. Uh, these, there we go, 9.9. .9. Yeah, let's try this one. 0.99K. This one should be 10K. So, can we change the function? Let's see, yeah, change the functions to volts, change the function to AC volts, change the function to resistor. Okay. So, if you have it set to resistor, well, I think these, uh, there we go, 9.95K. Okay, so um, it also can measure continuity. Uh, it's not latched. It's fast, but it's not latch latched. And it's got a little LED that lights up. That can come in handy, but uh, not latched if you care about that. Uh, there's a diode test. Uh, let's see, where's my diode test thing? There's a diode test here. So we can uh, put it on ground and we'll go to this one here. And it's measuring 0.28 volts. This one's 0.57 volts. This one is 1.6 volts. And then it won't measure the, uh, it won't measure the blue. So the burden voltage is probably three volts on this, on this machine here. Um, so it's pretty quick uh, for for diodes. It measures hertz. I, I hardly ever find myself using that function. It measures uh, uh, capacitors. 
Uh, let me find some capacitors. I don't know. Here, we'll do an in-circuit test to see how it does on that one. Here's a capacitor. It's a 0.047. And it's having a hard time with it in-circuit. Okay. You know how you take capacitors out of circuit? <laughs> you just lift up one leg. Okay. And then you can test them. And if you test it, you can always just put it right back down again with a... Uh, with a soldering iron. So let me get this so we can look at it and see court. So like I said, this thing would drive me nuts. All right, so let's put this here on, on this side and we'll put it on this side. We're measuring, there we go, 40, 46.6 nanofarad, then it's a 47. So, uh, so that works just fine. And then uh, line, if you, uh, pull this off and shove that into a wall socket. It'll tell you if there's a live, a live signal there or not. Um, and it does some phase detection for th three volt phase, a two volt phase and stuff. I don't know how it actually works, but it'll do those things as well. So um, it's certainly small. So if you have a, like your repairman and you have a tool belt and you just need something small to put on your tool belt, you know, maybe it, Maybe that would be a good a use case for it. Um, it has two AAA batteries in it and uh, no backlight because the uh, OLED is, is self-illuminating. So that's nice. If, it's, if you're in a, I put it on my bench, I can read it just fine. So if you're in a dark, a dark place, the display is really nice for that. And uh, yeah, there's a hold function. Uh, there's a little LED in the front. So if you turn this on, then you have an, an LED and uh, you can illuminate your work if you're uh, like in a, uh, working in some place that's dark. All right. So, uh, I think that's about all it does. Uh, you know, let's run through them again. We have auto, we can have it try to figure it out. DC volts, AC volts, mega ohm or ohmage, uh, ohms but with a beeper, uh, diode tester, hertz tester, frequency tester, um, capacitance testing, and AC line voltage testing. Um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, this this is removable. So um, if you want to carry this carry this separately or put a different type of a cord in it, um, it is cat. Three rated, 600 volts. Um, there you go. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and test, uh, review the other one. So the other one is a uh, ST100. Now this one kind of threw me when I first looked at it. I went, whoa, wait a minute, that's not right. <laughs> um, so it's got the two um, test probes uh, connect into the bottom. Okay. Uh, and so that's nice. You don't have to hold this thing. Um, but how do you hold this thing now? So if you're trying to probe here, you've got this thing here and then the wires are in the way and, uh, you don't have a third hand. You could try to hold this at the same time you hold. It. So it's going to be troublesome trying to figure out how to use this. Um, you can splay these out. That's about the best way I found it. You kind of splay those out and then you can see it. Um, and then these things are going to get in the way. So let's say we want to test this. We'll go to function here. Uh, it has all the same stuff. It has volts. Uh, oh, that's diode test. I'm sorry. I want diode test function. Oh, that's right. This one is a bit funny. So auto is volts, ohms, and beeper. So it figured out volts. It said uh, 9.5 9 volts. Um, and if we go over to resistors um, and we connect to a resistor, it says, ah, uh, yeah, that's one ohm. Or, I mean, a 1K ohm. Uh, this is... 10k ohms, 
this one is you can actually hear a little relay click in there too, 99.9 ohms. So it's pretty quick to find if that's ohms or not, but you can't lock it in, okay? So the functionality is Hertz, uh, capacitor, diode, uh, live, it will show that in a second here, phase, and then you can't lock in volts, you can't lock in ohms, uh, so that's kind of a downside. Um, it has a... Uh, flashlight on it as well um, and a hold, hold function so the same function they and uh, I don't like the way that the function operates though okay so what is the front doing then why is it pen shaped <laughs> if it's not going to be functioning as a pen well the front is kind of strange um, the front looks like this let me zoom in a bit uh, and at first I couldn't, I couldn't quite figure that one out. But then I went, oh, I, I, I recognize that. I have one of those. Huh? Uh, I have this thing. Uh, it's a line tester and it's got that little blade on it. So you can shove it in the AC line. Um, and so uh, that's what this one does. If I put it in um, a live mode, and I put it in a, uh, let's, okay, here's a, here's a cord that has a live voltage on it, okay, and I'll put this in here, put this in here, and maybe I don't have it hooked up right. Let me turn this one on. So this one says, this one says it's, it's live everywhere. Okay, so that one's doing its thing, and maybe I have the wrong function here. Uh, oh yeah, oh there we go. So I had it in in line or live or whatever. I think it was line. You have to have the red probe stuck in this thing. Let me zoom back out again. You have to have the red probe stuck in this thing, and then you have to jam the probe into the socket. So if you want to do the non-contact thing, you have to set it to NCU, and then uh, and then it will do the same thing. Uh, and it's a little more sensitive, so it knows that this side is the neutral and this side is the hot. And it's beeping on the ground. I don't know why it's not beeping on the neutral if it beeps on the ground. That's kind of a strange thing. Or it's just maybe it's just closer to the uh, closer to this one. So I don't think I find that extremely useful. I just want to know whether the line's hot or not. Maybe not necessarily what neutral is or not. I've got other testers that do that, but I don't know. Maybe people like this particular thing better. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. It tells you the intensity of the signal over here uh, as, as I kind of get closer and closer to it and jam it in the hole. It gets... So I guess that's okay. Um, anyway, that's what that little thing there is. Um, so, again, uh, you know, is, is, this, is this your use case? Is this, is this what you're looking for? Um, I think this one's kind of the, uh, kind of the odd one. Uh, I would really have to be thinking about why I wanted this particular thing. Um, I mean, uh, it, it does, it does, let me turn this one off. It does uh, do this functionality plus other things, right? So it's one less thing to carry. Um, so that might be good. Always a little worried about that thing breaking off, but um, that's that's neither here nor there. Anyway, if you're interested in uh, in this type of thing, it is the ST120, uh, and the other one that rev we reviewed is the uh, ST100. So uh, there you go. Uh, it's not not something for me, but it might be for you. <laughs>